Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. It is officially November 1st, last night was Halloween and we had so much fun, the girls had an absolute blast. We actually have like a campaign coming up that we're doing with a brand and the brand wants it to be like a festive, kind of like a Christmas time theme. So with that being said, it kind of forces our hand to decorate for Christmas a little bit early. Typically we do decorate for Christmas early November, usually it's not like directly on the first, usually we're not like, okay great, let's decorate for Christmas. I'm sure a lot of people have this issue, but I feel like I always, organize the basement and then a couple months go by and it's just like a big mess again no matter how good you organize it it just turns into a big mess like this right here it's just like all my tools stuff that i use from like the backsplash stuff that i bought from my backsplash all of this stuff is just like miscellaneous stuff that we kind of have just like okay great like the rug like we stopped using the rug over here is actually pretty neat like we have like our picture frames and then all of our christmas stuff is right here and then we have birthdays but the issue is this is our Christmas car right here. All of this stuff. There is no p direct path to the door. And the fact that I just moved Ella's big bed down here just doesn't help because now I have to kind of make a path through here. So my first task is to actually make an exit point so I can take all this stuff upstairs because it's gonna take me a lot of trips because we have so many Christmas boxes down here. Yesterday, and I already did the prank on the kids where I said that, I, that we ate all their Halloween candy and it was super cute. So, if you guys want to go check that out, it's on my Instagram and on my TikTok. While I'm doing this, could you change your diaper? The kids are very excited to decorate for Christmas. I uh, would say that the kids did not have very much candy, depend like they like sure. compared to other kids, they did not have very much candy, but again, they are not. We very don't. used to having candy. Exactly. They don't have candy very often. And so Avi had like, she had like three teeny little fun sized Snickers and a few other things, which I feel like on Halloween night is not very much candy. And last night she, you know what? Morning, we're gonna be talking about a lot of people are sensitive to, including me. So if you don't want to hear about it, skip along a few minutes. But this morning she came down from her bed and said that she had thrown up and it was like all over her blanket and she had taken it, her blanket downstairs. So we went upstairs and poor thing, I don't think she knew what to do because she's never thrown up before. I don't think she knew what to do and she like slept in it all night long and I bet and I felt so bad. So we gave her a shower and you know, we we're doing all the laundry for all of that. But she must have gotten sick from the amount of candy that she ate, which again was not very much, but they don't eat candy very often, so it was a lot for her. So I feel so bad. She's been kind of lethargic all morning and just hanging out seems very weak and we've just given her like some Gatorade and now that we've gotten the Christmas decorations out she seems to have pepped up a little bit so yeah we've kind of had a little bit of a morning I probably shouldn't be talking about this on the vlog it's kind of that's how our morning has gone this morning. A lot of cleaning up and a lot of just kind of hanging out and resting, so yeah. We are going to start decorating for Christmas. I think then last year on November 1st, we started outside November, in November. Yeah, we started outside first. We like went to Lowe's and Home Depot. And we did all of the outside stuff first and then we kind of slowly worked on inside halfway through November, but we have a trip coming up halfway through November and we have some campaigns that we need to film before that that are Christmas campaigns, so we need to have our Christmas stuff up, which I'm not complaining about at all. So we're going to start putting up Christmas decorations and I think this year we're gonna go more all out than we ever have, hopefully. Hopefully, because it's Addie's first Christmas, It's our first, I feel like, real Christmas here. And I feel like we're gonna go all inside. I feel like, honestly, we pretty much maxed it out outside last year. 
I don't think so. I think we could do more. So yeah, we'll see. I have a few ideas, but we're gonna see what we have and then we'll probably be making a few trips here and there to... What is it? Yeah. And she's, she's never like She doesn't either. have a fever. No, she doesn't. What's she, she, wrong? Her tummy is just upset. I don't feel good. You don't feel good? Feel good. Do you Are want you... to go sit down? You can go sit down and watch your Do iPad. Do you mean to sit with you? Do you want some crackers? Mm -hmm. Do you want some Gatorade or some water? She has both. She's been drinking both all morning. Whoa, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been And Addie's just turned around this year I know, I thought about that the other day I was like, oh my gosh, this year her stocking will actually be turned around And I'm so excited Look, it's her family! Which, which one is Oh, don't Addie? hold on. Oh. Which one is Addie? Which one do you think says Addie? This one. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so you cute. Mine. Hmm. What do you think? That one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know this is mine. Yep. It's E L L A. Yep. Okay, you guys. Spend a little bit. I'm having my second cup of coffee. I am so tired. Addie has just not been sleeping great lately. Today, Ella had her very first dance lesson and I did plan on recording, but I have like such an embarrassing story to tell. Anyway, it wouldn't have worked out anyway. So I signed the girls up for dance classes. Supposed to start this week, but Avery is not feeling good today and I did not want to make her go. She's currently sleeping. She is skipping out on this first day of dance, but Ella did have her first day of dance today. We already have like their outfits and she was really excited to go. So I took Ella to dance, I took Addie with me. What I didn't know is that at this dance place, their room that they're dancing in is completely enclosed with like no windows, no parents go in there. It's just four little girls and the teacher. And so when I got there, the lady at the front was like, did you get to sign up for this specific app so you can watch? And I was like, oh no, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. She's like, it's okay. Just scan this QR code and I'll just go ahead and approve you right now to watch. I was like, okay. So I get all that done. And it's basically this like streaming service where during your lesson you can watch but obviously during other lessons and during other times of the day you can't watch so you are like approved for your time slot so i got in and i'm watching and i didn't expect to not be able to be there in person and watch her and ben was like you should take videos and pictures like i want to see because it was just me going and it's her very first ever dance lesson ever so i'm watching her on my phone i have addy with me and i'm like well i'll just screen record some and i'll show ben so I start to screen record and this app pops up this like alert message that was like screen recording detected, you're not allowed to screen record, like you're, you've been signed out of your account, yada yada. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. I felt so embarrassed because I thought that everyone, including like the moms of the girls that were in the class would be alerted that their kids were being screen recorded. Which I didn't want because it was just obviously me, a parent, and I don't know. I was just so embarrassed about it. So it's like, okay, I definitely will not be doing that again. So I get back into the account and I'm watching them and they're almost done. And so I was like, well, I just need to take like a screenshot to show Ben that she's dancing in her class. So I take a screenshot and another alert message pops up and it's like, alert a screenshotting detected like no screenshotting allowed no pictures and i was like oh my gosh i had no idea that you weren't allowed to like screenshot them dancing it 
blocked me out of my account and completely like I don't even know how to describe it it like deactivated my account so I went up to the front desk to the lady and I was like I am so sorry I had no idea that I was not allowed to take a screenshot or to screen record them and I went back and I sat down with one other mom and she's like I did the same exact thing with their first lesson I was trying to take a screenshot and it signed me out of my account and like booted me out of there. I was like, okay, well that makes me feel better. But I was so embarrassed because this was my first time there around these moms for the first time and I was so worried that they would get an alert, which I don't even know if they did, that somebody was like trying to screen record or trying to screenshot their children. I don't know, I was so embarrassed about it, but we got it all figured out and I definitely will not ever be screenshotting or screen recording ever again. Oh my goodness. We just did school too um, after dance and that's why I'm having another coffee because it has been a day with vomiting, Christmas, dance for the first time and that traumatic experience that I had and now school. So far we have our rug out right here for the kitchen. And we have our tree up with our stockings, which we can officially see at his name. And the tree, which we're gonna leave bare for right now. Do you think we should get more lights? Or do you like it like that? I think I like it like that. It's, okay. I mean, it is during the day, so it's not as bright as it's going to be. Yeah, and then I, we're gonna just set these out. These are our other decorations that we've had for a while and use every year. So we're gonna put these out into we, random places. We definitely need a lot more pillows. Yes. Because we only have three, and usually we have like eight. Okay. Hi you guys. It is a sad day. I just dropped off Addy at my mom's house for the very first time. Really, well, I guess that's a lie. We went up to the Luke Combs concert when she was like three months old, and I was away from her for like 24 hours. Back then, she did take a bottle and now she definitely does not take a bottle. She strictly is breastfed and I'm trying to introduce bottles to her, which we have been trying for a while, but Ben and I and the kids are going on a trip in like less than two weeks. And there's a part of that trip where I will be away from her and my mom's gonna have to watch her and she does not take a bottle. And so today, since Ben and I have been trying for a little bit now for like a week or two to try and get her to take a bottle and she refuses I decided that I was gonna drop her off at my mom's house to Like force her to do it if that makes sense Like I won't be around and she's going to have to try and take a bottle So yeah, I just dropped her off at my mom's house. I gave her formula. I gave her every single bottle that I have She has frozen breast milk. I gave her food like literally gave her everything that she would possibly need to give her any variation of food and she currently, right now, is trying to give her a bottle and she's gonna let me know if, how it goes. So I'm kind of staying in the area just in case it goes south and she won't take a bottle because I have not fed her this morning. It's 10.30. She obviously eats throughout the night and so in the morning she's totally fine. She has a full belly. So I haven't fed her this morning so she definitely needs to eat right now and I'm, like I said, staying in the area so that if she doesn't take a bottle, I can give her a little bit before I go back onto my side of town. So anyway, this is really weird for me. I'm really nervous just because I know that she has such a hard time taking a bottle and throws a fit and just works herself up. It's really bad. She is eight months old, almost nine months old. She definitely is more aware than she was at three months old when we left for the concert. Like she had no idea, like she was so tiny. But now she has, obviously grown an attachment to me and only breastfeeds and only wants to be with me only wants me to hold her so I feel like it's more of a true first time without her because she's more aware of it and it's just really hard I am parked outside of Hobby Lobby because I'm gonna go in and distract myself like I said this week my goal is to decorate the girls rooms and get them finished and decorate for Christmas and we've mostly decorated for Christmas, but I'm gonna go in and see what I can find for the girls' rooms for their decor or whatever. Just distract myself and try to have a good time, which I know I will. So I'm gonna go in there, text my mom, see how she's doing, and hopefully I'll have more of an update when I'm done shopping. Have a cup of tea. Have a holiday. How you doing? Good. Mommy got some Christmas 
the decor stuff. Daddy. Yes. Update on Addie. Daddy. She's doing fine. She will not take a bottle though. Ben, come here, come look at this picture. Mom sent me this picture of her trying to feed her some food. Aww. <laughs> Is she being good though? She says she's being good. She tried to get her to go to sleep. She was asleep, mom laid her down, and she instantly woke up. She, she's just playing now, but she can tell she's tired, won't take a bottle, and will not go to sleep, so. Yeah, but anyway, while I was out, I said I was gonna go to Hobby Lobby, and I got some stuff to put inside the tree. I also got a few new ornaments. I do. Because the girls really, really, really want to decorate the tree, huh? You wanna decorate the tree? Yeah. Yeah? And then I got lunch. And then I went to Walmart and I got some groceries. So now we're here. See, so yeah, I got some sparkly ornaments for them. But I figured since it's just the older girls here, we could decorate the tree. Oh yes, is there hand towels? We could decorate the tree without it being a little bit chaotic with Addie crawling around. So that's what we're gonna do before we go down for a, an AP. And then friends, you know, come here, camera. Oh, you're gonna take the camera? What are you showing? So that and that and that. Okay, go show it. That's a kick with my tree. Look at the dot. Look. There's the dot. Oh, so look at the ladder. What are you doing? Oh, this and is then what I'm gonna class. show him the new blanket and the new pillow. When, when it says the new yeah. blanket. Yeah. The okay. other blanket blanket. Okay, I was gonna do it for dance, so she learned in dance class yesterday. Go ahead. Have a holy, jolly Christmas. Go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Like till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you So we have, how long, it's been what, since 2017? Yeah. We've been like my family's always done it. Yes. So we started our own little ornament tradition where we put our names on it and it started in 2017 our first Christmas game. Yeah. And then this is our first family together. And then Avery was only like two weeks old. Yep. And this for this Christmas. Yep. And then 2020 Christmas. And then 2021. Right before I had Addie. Yep. And now we'll have a family of five for the first yep. time. Yep. So we have to go get another one and put Addie. Mm -hmm. Every year we have a new one. So we put, it looks like we do a snowman and bear. So no snowman, no bears. Yeah. We did penguins here. Yeah. But we switched it up. Two snowman and two bears. Yeah. Yeah, we did penguins. But yeah, we need to do like reindeer. Yeah, that's a good one. Moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. 
my best starting on dinner for tonight. While we're on pet peeves, what do you think I'm also gonna my say? Face looks like I just like slather. I have chopped lips. You do. What do you think I'm gonna say about my next pet peeve? Not one that you just mentioned to me? Not that one. The lights. No. You never close the pantry door. Oh, I didn't know that, that was one. Okay, anyway, we're getting ready for my parents to come over because it's Survivor Night, so we're starting to cook dinner, cleaning up the house, and so what I was saying about the pet peeve situation, he leaves the dirty dishes out around the sink and doesn't put them inside of the sink when they're dirty, and it drives me nuts Do you know why if he that does is? that. Why? It's because I feel like whenever... It's because I feel like whenever things are outside of the sink, uh -huh. then like whenever I'm actively washing it, because like you know when you go to wash the sink, we have one big hole. Mm -hmm. If all the sinks are in it, you actively have to take the dishes out in order to like properly like wash and rinse them. So if it's too much, yeah, I take it out and I leave it and I put it around the sink so that whenever I get around to washing it, I don't have to take the extra step of putting it I don't it know why. So I always put the dirty dishes in the sink and he'll like lay them out all over the counter. Anyway, battery just died, but anyway, that's just what you get when you live with someone and you're married with someone. There's just, you do things different ways and go about life differently. Anyway, my mom is on the way here and she has Addie and I'm so excited. I haven't seen her all day today and I'm so excited to see her. I want to hear about their day and like how it went and what my mom learned and if it went well, like I'm just really excited to hear about it. So yeah, they're on their way now. They should be here like in 10 minutes or so and I'm just really excited to see her. Ah! Here. Here. Hello. Hello. I think you just walk asleep. right past your mom. Just... I know. Mm. Bye mom, gotta go. Just... Is she asleep? She got to sleep, yeah. Addison! Look at Did you... Don't wake her up, let her sleep, okay? James. Uh -huh. Do you want to do too? Wow. 